grocery shopping at the local market isn't what it used to be. Retired factory worker Loy Sol Ha says prices have gone up unreasonably in the last year, with many items now costing 50% more. It really affects us. Retired people like me with not much money have gotten less choices of goods to choose from. Nowadays, we purchase only the cheaper goods. And it isn't just at the market that changes are being felt. Many residents in Hong Kong find there are also less establishments now catering to their needs. Instead, more and more are opening catering particularly to visitors. Like this specialty store selling dried seafood. Business here has improved 40% in the last few years. And there are 200 more stores like this one in this neighborhood alone than there used to be. Back in 2003, when there were no tourists, the Hong Kong economy was in bad shape. But with more visitors in recent years, the economy has got better. It's easier to find a job nowadays if you're willing to work hard. Since the beginning of the year, an average of about 125,000 people visited Hong Kong every day. In July alone, the total number was over 4 million visitors. Now that's actually 50% more people than the population of the entire city. With travel restrictions easing, the majority of visitors are from mainland China. Many mainlanders come on day trips to visit recreation centers or buy goods and bring it back across the border. But increasing complaints from residents are now prompting the city government to rethink plans to encourage even more visitor arrivals. The carrying capacity of Hong Kong already is exceeding. Uh, when in, in holiday or even weekdays, uh, there are so many tourists at trees, at park, and we actually don't know how to go anywhere in our holiday. Our daily living standard or daily living uh, context is, is already affected. With so many visitors, traffic has to be controlled even into Hong Kong's luxury shops. Business might be booming here, but many residents feel the rise in number of tourists has worsened inflation and reduced their own purchasing power. They're asking city officials to step in and find a balance that won't compromise their needs much further. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.